हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पूर्वा गुप्ता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियाने इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम्स यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी यू टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन टाइप्स ऑफ जनरेटर बेसिकली देर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ जनरेटर फर्स्ट वन इज सेपरेटली एक्साइटेड जनरेटर सेकेंड वन इज सेल्फ एक्साइटेड जनरेटर सेल्फ एक्साइटेड जनरेटर इज अगेन सब डिवाइडेड इंटू टू कैटेगरीज सीरीज एक्साइटेड एंड शंट एक्साइटेड थर्ड वन इज कंपाउंड एक्साइटेड जनरेटर Compound excited generator is again subdivided into two categories: long shunt and short shunt. This division is based on basically excitation of generator. Now, first I will be explaining you all separately excited generator. In generator, what is done? We provide the mechanical energy and it's been converted into electrical energy. Input is mechanical energy and output is electrical energy. Now, in the self se uh, se separately excited generator. we have separately excited field winding this field winding is separately excited by some so voltage source and this field excitation is then provided to this generator now this generator pro is producing this ie current and the voltage drop of this generator is e now this generator is producing a voltage drop of vl across this load so it will be uh, applying the kvl the voltage drop with which we will be getting across the load will be given by vl equals to e minus ia ra e is the total voltage developed by this generator ia ra is the drop in the internal resistance of the generator armature and v is the output voltage load which we gets now second type of generator is self excited generator self excited generator we have first have series excited generator and the series excited generator thus exciting field windings are connected in series with the armature coil of the generator now the applying the kvl equation for this we have vl the output load voltage equals to e the total excitation the total generated voltage of the generator e minus current ie current which is being generated by this generator multiplied with ra plus rf ra is the internal resistance of the armature coil of the generator and rf is the field excitation resistance as both of these resistances are connected in series hence they are added now this voltage drop is where when being uh, subtracted from this e is provided as output voltage drop across the load as vl now for the third we have shunt self excited generator in the shunt excited excitation we have the field excited coil connected in shunt with the armature generator coil now here is diagram the field excited coil is connected in shunt or in parallel with the generator and the load in the parallel we know that the voltage drop is same means the voltage drop of the terminals of across this load is same as voltage drop across the terminals of these points and voltage drop across this terminal of these points so the voltage basically across the rf will be vl same as the load voltage now terminal voltage of these po two points has been calculated by again applying the kvl equation as here vl will be e the voltage of this generator armature minus ie r the internal resistance the voltage drop due to the internal resistance of the armature e uh, vl will be equal to e minus ie r now in the third category we have compound excited generators as long shunt and short shunt basically this is a combination of both these type of series and shunt shunt excitation the basic difference is that in this there is also series winding connected here for the field excitation in the long shunt excitation the shunt excited the shunt winding of the shunt excited generator has makes more number of turns as compared to series excited winding and in the short shunt generator the number of windings for the shunt is less than number of windings from the series for basically there is a difference between series and shunt excitation of the generator is while in like in this the in the series the exciting winding are in less number so because we want minimum voltage drop across this field winding while in shunt excitation these windings this field windings are in more number as we want maximum voltage drop vl as both the voltage across this field excitation and load are same hence these windings are needed to be more in number in shunt excitation 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर मोर डिटेल्स लॉग ऑन टू डब्ल्यू